Hey there Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for December 4th to the 10th. I know, how did we get here? We're in the final month of 2023 and really can't believe it. But anyway, let's see what is on the cards for you for the week. So if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and uh, thinking about dropping me a comment and subscribing before I get started, I'd be super grateful. It keeps the studio lights on, it keeps the readings coming, keeps the robots or the algorithm happy. So I'd be grateful for that. Uh, if any time you'd like a personal reading or healing, the first link down below will jump you over to my website. You can see what I offer over there. And what else? Um, what do I say next? completely gone oh i've got a freebie a free lindara quick guide and uh that will help you if you want to get started interpreting the cards for yourself i also have a paid offering the initiation which is my immersive online tarot course that is there for you i teach a full foundation in tarot and my signature reading process as well there's my karmic community that's my free email newsletter and also uh, my Instagram account. I'm really active and interactive over there with daily content. Also, of course, your 2024 year ahead tarot reading is dropping on Friday. So in two days time to give you an idea of the energy, the potentials, possibilities, predictions that you have to work with. So you want to tune in for that one. All right, let's get into it. The Oracle card has chosen itself and it's a time for healing, Aquarius. Okay, so I feel like this is a bit of a sigh of relief. This is a time to take a pause. This is a time to consider what healing is needed in your life or in your situation or within yourself. Because we need to restore harmony. We need to restore homeostasis here. You know, when we're in balance internally, often... Uh, you know, we are extending that energy into our situations, right? And if we're not in a healing environment or we're not in an environment that that is calm, you know, we, we can, you know, feel uh, incoherent. Okay, so time for healing is what I'm being told here. All right, my eye was twitching really badly as I was saying that. So that is a, maybe that's for me as well. Okay. Major Arcana incoming, it's still going, it's really weird. Anyway, Major Arcana incoming, I've got just the 22 big themes of the tarot and I've pulled strength, yeah. So Leo energy coming through and Aquarius, it asks you to have the strength and courage to follow the heart. And generally, you know, when we're coherent in the heart, that's when we unlock and reach our biggest potential in life. So... I was feeling into that uh, heart coherence when I was reading that Time for Healing uh, card. And, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes we make choices in our lives, um, you know, from the head and not the heart. And sometimes we have to do that, right, to set ourselves up or get ahead in life. We can do that for a period of time, but we want to make sure that we don't live life from that place all the time, right? Because then the heart starts to not feel good. And when that heart doesn't feel good, we start to get this ease, right? The body starts not feeling good. Life starts not feeling good. So a time for healing for me means we need to have the strength and courage to address heart coherence and how in alignment your life is with what you're feeling on the inside. Interesting. Okay, Aquarius, let's take this further. I have got the right of weight here. I'm pulling you four cards. And then I will clarify as I go your energy in the situation. Yeah, beautiful. Challenge. Page of Wands. Advice. Nine of Cups. Love it. Love seeing that in the energy field. You know, you can make big steps towards those hopes and dreams, but we've got a little bit of re-strategizing to go. Ace of Swords. I mean, it's here. It's in your energy field, the energy of breakthrough, the energy of victory, and the energy of a win. But we've got to re-strategize. That's what I'm getting here with the King of Swords in the situational energy, which actually happens to be the Minor Arcana of Aquarius. I'm now clarifying that with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is my energy where we feel like we're going against the grain in life, like swimming against the current. Now, there are times where we have to do that, and then we might, you know, pop through into smoother sailing. 
But when we're in a situation, whether it's across the board in life or in your relationship or in your job, where it just feels the whole time like I'm going uphill carrying a heavy load and it's unsustainable, that's when we need to address it. That's when we need to rise above, see the big picture here and think about, is this taking me closer to or further away from the Nine of Cups, my happiness, my satisfaction, my contentment, my wishes. At this time of the year, I don't know about you Aquarius, but I start to get a little bit reflective. I start to think about what I've achieved across the year and I start to think about the new year coming. And I start to think about, you know, where do I want to be at the end of next year? Five years, 10 years, where am I now? Am I lining up with that? So maybe, you know, you're being called to go through a bit of that process as well and consider where am I going against the grain? Where am I swimming further away from my nine of cups? Look, you've got the higher ground here, but the, the king of swords really is an energy of, from that eagle eye perspective, making new decisions through clarity, through awareness. Ace of swords, you know, is that epiphany? I know what I need to do to win now. And then having the strength and courage to take the action, make the decisions or communicate in alignment with that. That's how we transform our life. So that's what I'm feeling. And it's through your action. It really is. Now, the Page of Wands is in the challenge, but the Page of Wands talks about a journey of new discovery. So maybe it's time to do that. Maybe it's time to, to change the formula. Yeah, it's coming in with the Two of Swords. So it feels like you are at a crossroads. Or a stalemate in your situation and it's time to weigh things up and make new decisions maybe go in new directions ultimately the page of wands is saying you know there you need to regain a sense of energy or passion or enthusiasm again because I sort of get this feeling of depletion like if you're in seven of wands all the time you're probably burning out maybe physically maybe emotionally that's why we need a time for healing. But we don't just want to take a time for healing and then get straight back to climbing mountains. We want to make sure that we're flowing with the direction of the heart coherence. So the Page of Wands says, let's go on a journey to discover what that looks like. You know, what area of your life is not feeling in alignment? What's not growing? What's not sprouting? Let's get to being curious about that. Let's get to be the discoverer, the journeyer, you know, the explorer, the adventurer of life again. That's what you're being asked to do. And, you know, sometimes people say, well, I know I don't like my career, but I don't know what to do. We'll find what lights you up, find what you're passionate about, what you can talk all day about. You can go and get, you easily get the experience or the, the education, the bits of paper, but we can't replace passion or talent. In our relationship, if we don't have that natural chemistry, you know, an attraction and core values, right, and future vision, then generally, you know, it won't feel like we're, it will feel like we're going against ourselves. So you've got decisions to make, you've got new adventures to go on, you're being asked to rediscover your energy and, and go on a new journey. Now, also, I feel like if you do, you know, if there is something that you're needing or wanting here, like a new job, new housing, something that's through an application-based uh, process, the Page of Wands is good news that takes you on a new journey. And with the Ace of Swords coming in, it feels like you will get an affirming answer. So be seeking, be searching. All right, the Nine of Cups is in the advice and it comes in with the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, it could be around work career themes or work career, abundance, money, assets for a lot of you of the Eight of Pentacles is known as the Worker card. You're actually being asked to get to work but make sure it's in the right direction because we can carry uh, the load all day and put the work in. But if we're going against the current and if we're going in the wrong direction for us, then we're not going to arrive at the destination. So yes, you're being asked to work smarter, not necessarily harder and reevaluate where you're going so that you can really carve out the path towards your version of the nine of cups which might be a specific goal, Aquarius, you know, there might be a savings goal, there might be leveling up in your career, it might be setting yourself up for the future, doing the hard yards now, that kind of thing, uh, you know, and then often when one of those life areas are in place, we naturally might attract that life partner or our relationships increase, 
because everything's coming into alignment, everything's coming into heart coherence. It's one of my biggest topics of interest, which you'll hear more about uh, from me soon. Um, you know, I really believe that we need to be in that full alignment mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually in order to create the life that we really love. And taking that radical responsibility for the choices that we've made, the choices we're yet to make. That's what gets us there. That's what gets us to a really big win here. I've got the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords breakthrough. Through clarity of what we've spoken about, we can start moving in alignment. And we can end up Six of Wands being chosen, being, you know, being, uh, you know, selected for what it is that we want because we're holding the right energy for it. So both of these are victory cards. But it's victory through the balance that we've talked about. So I see you coming out of a harder time with energy, with self-confidence and, 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 and feeling good. But there's a journey to go. And I think with that King of Swords, you know, start the journey of saying no to energy that you don't want more of in your life, Aquarius. Set the boundary. Draw the line. I think this might be you know, sort of across the board, the energetic pattern for you. But I think mainly it's coming from maybe work, career, and maybe finances, that type of thing. So we need to start getting the clarity first, and then we can start making the changes in alignment with the heart versus the vision where we want to go. First of all, though, you might need some time for healing, and you might need a time for discovery to find out what is truly on your heart so you can move in alignment with it and move towards those powerful winning breakthroughs. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to pull you a Divine Abundance Oracle card, which feels pretty fitting with the theme that we're talking about. Companionship. That's interesting. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. And I was going to say it at the end of the reading, but for some reason I pulled out of it. I was going to say we, we become the sum total, apparently, of the energy of the five people that we spend most time, you know, around. So make sure that the companionship, the company you keep, you know, is in alignment for you. Uh, a positive and uplifting people. And letting go. Yeah, letting go. We talked about that, didn't we? Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. What is it that you need to let go of or uh, draw a line in the sand or hold a boundary against to start cleaning up the energy so you can move in alignment with your truth? That's part of the process. It's not the full reading, but it is one of the elements. So there's winning energy coming through and I really hope that you can begin to line up with it. Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you do enjoy, uh, you did enjoy this reading. If you would like to tune into your specific personal circumstances, please do follow the first link down below. You'll pop over to my website. You can check out what I offer there. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe on your way out. You know I'm super grateful for that always. It's going to send you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.